Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex and Rhiannon at Laser Everything and we've got a really cool review for you today. We made some signs, which isn't yeah. something we do super often, but it's with some brand new material that we got from Johnson Plastics Plus called Stonelight. Yeah. We've got a ton of different ones here, guys. We've got all our sample projects. We've got a ton of footage cutting and building these signs as a tester and a lot of feedback. So don't go anywhere because we're getting started. Right now. Right now. Right now. It's really cool. So it's a stone veneer and it's a true stone. This isn't plastic or weird organic material. It's yeah. like actual stone. And I think you said it's fabric backed. Yeah, fabric backed. Fabric backed. And I think you can buy it with adhesive on the back as well. Nice. Yeah. yeah. We'll touch on that a little bit later in the episode. We have a lot of different colors. We have autumn, autumn white, copper, birch, Nero line, which is kind of like a slate. Which one was your favorite? <laughs> I I don't know. I really like the Nero line a lot. I like the just kind of plain black. I like that slate feel. I think I liked the birch, but it did get that weird yellowing when it was engraved on. Which I'm not sure that this is really supposed to be engraved on, but even when cutting, you could see it a little. It's also, I feel like the birch is the floppiest. That's fair. It's like very felt that too. oozy. <laughs> most of the colors are good. I like most of the colors. You know, I forgot about this. The autumn white, right? Autumn yeah, white. I like that white. one. I don't like the autumn, which looks like somebody peed on the floor. I mean, it looks like a real rock. It does. It looks like a rock that someone peed on. I think it's the colors that make it look a little like that. Oh, they smelled really gross. They do smell gross when you cut them. Yeah. If you've ever cut cultured marble, it smells just like that. And it's pretty horrendous. Make sure that you're using a proper exhaust because it is a lot. Oh, the glue thing. We can talk about that. <sighs> Rian said earlier that you could probably get these backed with 3M adhesive from the store. And by the time I realized it didn't have it, we had already cut like more than half of our projects and we didn't get enough material from these guys to be able to cut them again. So we ended up having to use a two-part epoxy to mount these onto their true flat spaces. For some of the smaller numbers, we did do super glue, but the glue got everywhere. Anytime that you put any pressure on this to get it to bind, it oozed out the sides. So there's a bunch of shiny bits yeah, and around. Yeah, since we were working with a lot of small pieces, I feel like that also didn't help us. No, it didn't help <laughs> it was us. all over our fingers. I think this stuff, job would so. have been 8,000 times easier. We no joke. If we just had the adhesive backing. We, yeah, if we just had the 3M backing. Yeah. The worst part is we have a bunch of 3M adhesive yeah. here. We just cut could've the stuff it. before yeah we yeah. easily could have added it so if you plan on working with this material and mounting it to something flat i highly recommend you either purchase it with the backing first if that's available or apply it yourself before cutting it's pretty interesting stuff it's a little dusty yeah it was a little messy and kind of cut inconsistently every once in a while. It like did. there were like some thicker parts that didn't cut all the way through, even though we found a decent setting, so. Yeah, another thing that you noted earlier mm -hmm. was that this is stone, it's really stone. Yeah. So when you cut it and you're manipulating it and trying to get it onto stuff or trying to like, you know, there were a few times we had to cut it with an X-Acto knife yeah. to like get all the Pop way through the material. The when you do that, it generates a lot of stone dust. You yes. get like rock dust, like moon dust. Yeah, we noticed uh, it a lot while gluing. Yeah, too. a lot while gluing, which again, the 3M yeah. would have eliminated that problem because the glue was catching all the dust and mm -hmm. like locking it into place, which was a big problem. These sheets come in these one foot by one foot tiles and they're really designed for cutting. So we're gonna be focusing on laser cutting projects today. In order to do that, we have enlisted the help of true flat plywoods to act as a base to put these veneers on. And we made a collection of signs. So we'll go ahead and show you the footage from cutting and building these in a minute. Right now? <laughs> right, right now.
Which, oh. which sign was your favorite? Which one do you think came out the best? I know we struggled with some of the NASA lettering, but I still like the design of that one and like the birch rock was nice. The birch rock with the yeah. black ply combo is yeah. really, really nice looking. I wish that mm -hmm. we had gotten the letters on a little straighter. At some point we even scratched the true flat trying to like scratch off yeah. glue that we had gotten on it. The letters are uneven in spots. It really didn't come together, but the idea is there. Yeah. Like if we this cut design. Yeah, I feel like if we cut this project again with the 3M. With the 3M, yeah. it would look really, really good. Yeah. I think and we'd then, have a lot less trouble. Yeah, and then I like the shop pig because that's more personal. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, you know, Brock eating a turkey leg, yeah. which is on point we for him. We weren't super into the copper, but I think it came out fine with this. I think it came out fine. It I definitely like, looks like copper. It does, yeah. and I like the copper more than I like the true the flat. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what I this agree. color is. I, it reminds me of, um, I don't know. It like looks a, like office wall. Yeah, office wall, <laughs> or I was going to talk about, like, those fine plaid, like, coat jackets yeah, like, old ladies kind of yeah kind of like that it, I, when i see this it just looks like i'm getting a shot you know yeah. like i'm at the doctor's yeah. and i'm gonna get a shot yeah, that's true you know what it looks like the bottom of cabinets yeah like the like <laughs> you know what i'm talking about yeah. uh contact paper yeah like contact paper yeah, yeah bizarre but the copper yeah. did a good job cleaning it up and the yeah. design is super cute we did all of these by the way just with assets that we already had in our library and a bunch of stuff from designbundles.com so if you like any of this artwork and you want to try to find it we have a link down in the description to help support the channel yeah i really like the nero line is that what they call it but just call it slate oh, yeah, it's yeah. slate yeah i like the slate with this like kind of just plain wood color like, yeah this looks is like really a really good. thin slate yeah it's like an extreme. which is kind of cool i also want to throw out some praise really quick for the true flat plywood that we used as a base this stuff is true to name it has been sitting in our shop yeah. unprotected for literally months and while tons of other woods that we have in stock are regularly warping worse and worse every day i mean these are flat literally <laughs> still flat they're actually still flat and that made doing the backing part of this project at the very least super easy that's true it cleans up well too because after mm. we cut it it did get some of the like burn edges but i just used windex and it wiped away easily yeah a couple challenges i guess but overall it's a cool material it's a very cool material i'll definitely buy some more for the shop bottom line guys whether you're doing signage or you're trying to decorate something like an urn we yeah, had we the idea that, yeah. of doing an urn because we have some urns laying around that would have been really cool you could do a ton with this material could and be like interior design stuff too mm -hmm. like a lamp or something weird i don't know cool you know, like the base. Like a skin lamp. Ew. <laughs> Not that. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I just was thinking because it's like tile stone, like countertops and stuff. I feel like it would work for like interior home design things that don't know, have a good like example. Like what? <laughs> yeah, give me an um, example. Like a tissue box. A tissue box. <laughs> Shut the f*** up, dude. So I also had another good idea about this product because it's kind of malleable and floppy. You could put it on something like cylinder. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to just be on something flat. Yeah, like a round trophy yeah. base. Yeah, you could easily take this and wrap like it to a Like there's a lot you it. could do with it. Yeah, I feel certainly. Like because of that. I 100% agree with that. Yeah. How true? <laughs> no matter what, guys, you know, fucking buy a sheet. <laughs> buy a sheet. Buy some. Buy some today. From Johnson Plastics Plus. <laughs> yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash <laughs> the like button. Let everybody else know the content is good. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe and. And follow us on the Laser Master Academy. Hit the notification bell so you get <laughs> notified the next time we upload an episode. If you really, really like this one, head over to... The Laser Master Academy. At... At lasereverything.net. Masters.lasereverything.net. It's the number one way to support the channel. Yeah. 
There's a great community over there, thousands of members yes. that spend their time there every single day, willing to help you along on your laser journey, and you might just be able to help some of them along as well. We just released our new UV library over there, so if we you're did. looking for UV parameters, that's a great place to get started. And there's a ton of other goodies. You can find all the information over at masters.lasereverything.net. <laughs> Overall, I think we will do better next time. Yeah. But I am pleased with these materials. Both the True Flat as the backer and the Stone Light as the details. Yeah. They do some cool stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. I think that's all I've got. Thank you so much for popping by and... We'll see you in the next one. You're getting good. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting good.